the Joe Rogan experience. Jenny, I, I, you kind of look like John Travolta. Did anyone ever tell you that? Yeah. Do people tell him that all the time? Not recently, but uh, yeah. You do have a, because I've never hair. seen you. I've heard of you, but there's really no pictures of you online. I was, huh? while I was watching Owen Gray last night, I tried to uh, okay. incorporate you. <laughs> and I never, but you do have a John, but not, but I mean like a in shape, good looking. Thank you. Young. What did Gad say? You said you look like uh, Alec Baldwin? No, it was Bill Maher. Bill Maher yeah. said yeah. it. Yeah. Because John Travolta Baldwin. now looks like if you and Joe had a baby. That's yeah. what John Travolta looks like right now. <laughs> If you just put John's face on Joe's head. There you go. I met John Travolta once. You guys ever meet him? Yeah, I met him. Yeah. Yeah, well, I met he... him at Fear Factor. His wife, uh, uh, Kelly Preston, at the, who's since passed, uh, she was on the show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I did um, David Letterman in 2013, and it was first time on television doing anything, and it was a big deal for me not only get stand-up on, on Letterman, but John Travolta was the other guest. So I remember like that week, like my mother was just telling all her friends, she was like, I'm, I'm going to go see John Travolta on Letterman. And I was like, also like your son is doing stand-up, but she never, <laughs> she just cared about <laughs> Travolta. She was like, I can't believe, like she was kept picking out different dresses. She was like, what do I wear? And so... I did, and my mom and dad, who were divorced, it was one of the first times, because before I had my kid, my first child, so before I had my first child, my mom and dad never talked. They had like a divorce, and they just, you know, especially as I got over 18, they were just like, we don't talk anymore. So it was one of these things where like, it was the first time where like my mom and dad were going to be in the same room, <laughs> and and I'm so it's like all nerve-wracking, and I'm about to go do the show. I bought a suit the night before from this place, Joseph A. Bank. It was in like a strip mall in Syosset, Long Island, and it was like three sizes too big. So I just had this oversized suit on. I was like really nervous, and I go down, and John Travolta's on the couch, you know, um, crushing it. He's John Travolta. And then I'm about to go up next to do stand-up, and he, um, the, you know, the commercial break happens, and he's walking out. And I'm standing there like nervous with my 3X suit and he stops and he looks at me and he goes, you have on a beautiful suit. I was like, thank you. I was like, I feel like it's too big. And he was like, no, it's beautiful. I was like, oh, yeah. And my mom's sitting right there fucking dying that Travolta is like looking at me. She's like trying to smell his breath. And so <laughs> Travolta says to me, he goes, what do, you, what do you do? What's your talent? I'll never forget. He goes, what's your talent? I was like, oh, uh, I'm a stand up comic. And he was like, oh, very nice. And then he was like, you seem a little nervous. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then he puts his, <laughs> <laughs> and then he puts his hand on my chest, like a, just puts his hand right on my chest, like oh, right, Jesus, in the, right in the right, right in the middle, right in the heart, right on the heart. No, seriously, like right in the middle. And 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 I was in my head because I was like, you know, I got fat nipples, so I was like, I hope he doesn't think like, you know, I'm not jacked. And then and then he and then he goes, um, why is your heart beating so fast? And I was like, because you're you're John Travolta, you're massaging my nipple. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he goes, don't. It, it was, he goes, don't be nervous about what you're about to do. And he goes, you've done it already. And I said, no, I'm actually going on after you. I haven't done it yet. He goes, no, you've done it already. It's over. And I was like, are you stupid? I No. <laughs> are you dumb fuck? I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm going on next. And he was like, the work is done. And then I... I was just like, what, what do you mean? And then w the whole time his hand is on my chest. He goes, I'm sure that Mr. Letterman had to vet you personally. I'm sure that you've had to practice this set a thousand times before you got to this moment. So the work is over. So now you just have to go be in the present. That's your only job is to be in the present because the, the set that you're about to do is done. You've completed the work already. Now it's just living the moment, which is the fun part of the hard part of the journey. But the hard part is over. All these words, and my heart is like slowly going down. Like I swear, I was getting like very, very calm. Wow. And he goes, I'm going to stand right here and I wanna watch you live this moment. He goes, this is rare that I get to see this at the level I'm at in my career, to see someone get to begin their journey in entertainment. He goes, I'm gonna see her, I wanna watch every second of this, I'm gonna be here for you. And, I, and with that, the Letterman people are like, Chris, you're on next, and give me that little push. David Letterman, this whole time, I hadn't even listened. David Letterman was already being like, and our next guest, you know, stand-up comic, you know, making his uh, uh, appearance, making his national television debut on the David Letterman show. I didn't even hear any of that part. I just hear, please welcome Chris DiStefano, and with that, I'm going out. Yeah, look at how big my fucking suit is. This Hold is on, play it out, play it out. Oh, go, go from the beginning. So you, you had just been touched by John, John Travolta. He is in that back corner. Literally, if you look closely, I almost have a boner. 
And look at how big that suit is. Thank you. Oh, it looks good. Thank you. How you guys doing? I'm from New York. You can tell. I put on the New York <laughs> accent. That was dumb. We don't pronounce our R's. It's not New York. It's New York. Just skip the R always. We don't need to. Right. I don't yeah. want to do this to you. Yeah. 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 It's, it's all good. And um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. I, do you want me to finish the Travolta story? Oh, well, talk, sure. Well, sure. I didn't know there was more to it. Well, yeah. Well, the reason why there's more to it is because Travolta, I told you, he goes, he <laughs> kept telling me, you know, I'm going to watch this moment and all that. And it was the most um, calm I ever was, still to this day, doing TV. Like, I was more calm the first time doing that five-minute Letterman set than I was doing a whole Netflix special or whatever. I was so calm because of his words. And then when you came backstage, was he naked? When I came backstage, I was looking to see him, and he was gone. And I said to my mom, I was like, Mom, where's John Travolta? She goes, he left immediately. As soon as you said, hi, my name's Chris, he walked away, left, went on. He, so he just did that. For you. For me, which I, at first I was angry. I was like, where's John? And then as time went on, I was like, oh, that's the nicest thing anyone could have ever done for me.